All right, guys, so here we have it. So, uh, three quarter peg say all the way through here, bounced up right in there above the bathroom, <clears throat> and then uh, comes right over here. So, I teed off here and went for an outside spigot before the whole house filter. So, <clears throat> I always put whole house filters now on the house because the price of a filter for two refrigerators for these two family houses is a little ridiculous. So <clears throat> I figure put a whole house filtration system and then it protects all the pre-filters in the faucets. The water heaters will last longer because they'll be cleaner. Uh, the benefits is uh, less, no chlorine in the water, your clothes come out whiter. Um, so I made sure before the filter, I teed off because you don't want to filter the garden hose. If you're washing cars or watering plants, that will be a waste of the filter. So filter comes down here, it goes to the two-stage canister, comes back up, and then it feeds to the whole house. Um, for filter changes, you put a shut off here, shut off here, close both, and then you could bypass um, the filters and just have regular water. Um, the filter chains don't, don't take that long, but it's just smart to put a bypass. Um, so <clears throat> I went and tied back in over here into the bathroom. So I put Pexa for the toilet, all brand new. Brand new supply line, who knows how old it is. They recommend that you change every, I believe, 10 years. So, um, I put the new um, cartridge in, and that's working. So, there were that flew out from, fr from freezing. The copper pin broke, and thank God nothing behind there broke, because I would have had to open that wall up and fix that. Um, sink is good and running so um, yesterday I I added heat into this um, basement bathroom so I tapped into the ductwork right there now there's heat in here um, before there was a um, ductwork that came off from right here and then came down and you had to move your head every time you walked in this tight spot right here um, so what else? All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna up remove all this copper and update this for the washer and dryer. Um, so I just teed it off right there, connected into here. So I got the lower unit hot water all flushed out, um, and connected. We got hot water back on again, and then I connected this water heater to upper and flushed it out again. Um, so every year you should be flushing your water heaters. Um, it's real disgusting the stuff that comes out. I had about maybe an inch of goo just in here from what was sitting at the bottom of the tank. So my tank at my house, I never flush it. I've been there for nine years and I tried to flush and it wouldn't flush. Um, I replaced the lower unit earlier this year and it flushed no problem. So if you never flush, don't start flushing. Um, so yeah, so now that I got water in here now and I can flush the toilet, I am going to focus on, what do I want to focus on? Because there's so much to do. Let's see. So I cleaned up the wood. So now I am going to focus on ductwork. So I'm highly against having floor returns and supplies. This was a double floor supply right here. Um, so I relocated it over here. You can't see it, but it's going to be right there instead. Um, I got to run heat to the upper kitchen, the lower kitchen figure out how I'm going to run the heat to the two bathrooms because they were behind the uh, bathroom sinks 
and literally just right against the bathroom sink so i don't even know how heat was getting in there um and then if you are ever renovating and see this like fiber stuff on your ductwork that's asbestos so be very careful with it um i'm gonna soak it in water and then remove it and replace it with the oval duct <clears throat> so this whole house has these trunk lines are basically passed through so this one supply is for the bedroom and for the dining room i don't like that um so of course i'm gonna make a lot more work for myself just because for privacy sound um i don't want to do it like that so i'm gonna just take this for the dining room and then i already ran a new one right here for the bedroom and then i gotta do it for those bedrooms and then over here so i am gonna focus on my duct work make sure i got all the the branches and everything teed off correctly and then put this subfloor back down um still do, i think i'm gonna spray foam that crawl space area right there and then put the subfloor down start framing my two by six wall where that um three inch pipe is and then i can start cutting all these floor joists and running the new ones over so once the bathroom and kitchens always take the longest once i get that done I'll be on the second floor focusing on electrical and then insulation and hanging drywall. And this should be rented pretty fast. And today I changed the, the blueprints on the <clears throat> both of the kitchens. So you can see right here I had um, the refrigerator right here. So here goes your the sink with the window stove and then a the refrigerator i didn't like this this i i mean i did this when in 2022 so two years ago i learned a lot in two years it's funny how i always compare stuff like this but um yeah i learned a lot this is wrong it's stupid um you could just see right here i didn't catch this before but this upper cabinet is not even usable because the fridge is right here. Um, and then you probably will have an issue with this drawer opening. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, make this a 21 inch cabinet instead. Obviously move this over and then the fridge should fit right here in this corner. I'll have to put um, a cabinet over here so we could open the doors. You don't ever want to put a refrigerator by the wall because then the door won't be able to open. And yeah, so that should be a lot better. And then I'm going to add an island in the center. So um, yeah, so moving this here and then an island right here in the center and I'll be happy. So.